So today we are looking at an accessory from Tramp. Uh, this is their um, well, this is their Tramp shop for Trooper amp. So uh, a lot of stormtroopers nowadays do have amplifiers for their voice, and this one actually provides sound effects and the static burst feature. For those people who have been with me since the very, very early days, um, you'll know I did a video many and many a moon ago of um, my second ever um, uh, speaker system. After after that one broke, I never got another speaker system. I just went around without anything in my helmet. But now I'm actually coming back and I'm getting a speaker system. We got one of these anyway for Dad's Chewbacca. Um, so just sort of experimenting with it and it's going to be used for Sev. And on certain events, I'll probably actually end up using it for my trooper. So I can now talk a bit clearer and have the static burst feature as well. Amps aren't the cheapest thing to get for your Stormtrooper armor. Uh, this one is a modified Acre amp, I think. And an Acre amp itself will set you back about 80 to 100 pounds. This is actually 160 because uh, it's loaded with a heck of a lot of good stuff. Uh, you've got multiple character clips on this, so uh, multiple character voice lines, sound effects, uh, a full troop loop, which I'll show you what that is in a second, and also you've got things like the static burst feature and a couple of accessories that go with it as well. Also, if need be, this is something that you can modify. There is a little memory card in here that has all the sound stored on it and in the instructions that come with this amp it does tell you if you want to change around any of the sound files or add any new sound files how to do it uh, so you know if you're like oh I've got this I don't want to like have to get something else just to use a different character or whatever then it's easy enough to do once you've figured it out or if you are really stuck uh, Tramp is really really helpful so if you just contact them on their page and be like is it possible could you put this on there I'm sure they'll be able to help you out uh, so, as I said, I'm going to be using this one for Sev and my Trooper. Uh, so for Sev, I have actually changed up some voice files that are already on the system. I've changed up the Clone Trooper character profile just to save making a new profile. I've just swapped out the voice lines on there. Uh, but for now, I'll just show you what comes with this and just the, the basic functions before we run through all of the character sound files because there is a lot. So um, we're just going to run through what primarily you're going to be using this for. So you don't just get the amp with this, like I said, you do get the full instruction manual of how to use this properly. Uh, this is something that doesn't take batteries, it's charged, so it does come with its own charging cable. It does warn you uh, not to use anything else apart from what comes with it, because you could just uh, blow all the circuitry inside. We do have a little audio jack that feeds into there as well, so I guess you could play music through here, theoretically. I don't want to test it out just in case. I messed this up, I don't want to mess this up. There's a little clip on the back of the amp here, so you can also connect it uh, to your costume, or if there's nowhere you can connect it to, it does have, uh, if it untangles itself, a lanyard as well, so you can just attach to that and have it secreted somewhere in your costume where it can't be seen. It also comes with two versions of microphones, so you've got a, a lapel mic, it's got a mic with a little clip on there, so you can clip it somewhere under your shirt, or maybe if you don't want a headset, you can glue it somewhere in your helmet. So, it's just a simple one, I haven't undone it because it's not one that I'm probably going to use. And uh, you've got the headset mic, which is the one that uh, a lot of troopers do go for. So, just a simple one. Go around your head like that. You can just move the microphone into whatever position you want. It sits nice and comfortably. It's not like really tight, really awkward because it's just a thin little band. So, even if you've got a lot of padding in your helmet, which I do, it doesn't get in the way, which um, my last amp all those years ago did used to because it was actually like a big thick headband you had to put on and every time I put on the helmet it'd move and then the mic would move and it was a real pain in the bum um, thankfully this one isn't too bad and if the mic does move it's easy enough just to put your hand up in your helmet and just tweak it a little bit so you can put it where you want and it also comes with a set of triggers so you've got four button triggers which are attached like this little keychain and you've also got the four buttons on there which um correspond to each button trigger so if you don't want to use these you can just use that and it will uh, play the same sound effects that actually on these triggers so what I'm going to do for Sev is I'm actually going to have these up uh, in the glove of the character so I can activate certain sound effects and uh, if you're worried about where to put this and if the buttons will activate if you like knock it just do that and it just covers up the buttons on there nicely for you. So you don't just get the amp, you do get quite a few accessories with it that will help you in pretty much any sort of costume situation you need. Uh, so if the mic's too bulky and you need a smaller mic, or if you're not going to be using the mic for certain ones and you just want uh, sound effects and voice files, you've got that as well. Or maybe if you just want to play some tunes, the options are there. So pretty much all your settings and uh, bits and bobs are controlled through this little red button here. So you go through them by means of um, 
pressing it like either double click, single click, hold it down, it will take you into different menus. It takes a little while to remember exactly how to do everything because, you know, um, most things just out of my head nowadays. But that's why the instruction manual comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this in and I'm going to show you how it actually works. So the mic goes in the bit at the top and as you can see we got the, uh, the little dial here which is on, off and also controls your volume. You do have another separate volume control as well, so you've got a, like a low volume which you can control the volume on the low setting or a higher setting and you can control the volume on the higher setting as well. Uh, so you can just like switch up to maximum so if you know uh, this is a setting I want and it's not too loud, not too quiet kind of thing. It's hard to gauge at conventions sometimes. Right, so just to turn it on, I'm going to turn this little wheel. If uh, the camera would like to focus on that, that'd be great. There we go, so this little wheel here, we're just going to use that to turn it on. Tramp Online Clone Trooper So as you can see my audio preference is currently on Clone Trooper Put this into my shirt just so I don't have to hold it Just using a little clip on the back Doesn't look too great on camera but it's, it works So mine's currently on the Clone Trooper setting because that's the one that I've changed all the voice files for Sev for um, But the Clone Trooper setting and a bunch of the Trooper settings do work in the same manner just for the microphone So I can show you how that works So obviously it's away from my mouth so you can't hear it if I move it closer and if I just move it that there and turn up the box you do get a little bit of feedback sometimes it's uh it's a little bit tricky finding the uh sort of the right level there we go so it's a bit closer than I'd normally have it but just for the purposes of this video you do have to have the amp on quite loud for the static burst feature which you can hear going off there to go off. So the amp registers when you talk, because obviously the volume suddenly goes up, and then when there's silence, not all the time, there you go. Like I said, you do have to speak into it fairly loud for it to work. So basically, at the end of every sentence, you have what they have in the films, which is where you get the little bit of a radio static coming. So a couple of the uh, the voice uh, character profiles won't have the static burst on it. It's mainly for the Stormtroopers, and the TIE Pilots, Snow Troopers, Clone Troopers, just, just the ones that would have this in universe. So along with actually having your voice amped so people can hear you when you're underneath a bucket and having the nice little sound effect of the static burst at the end, uh, each character profile does come with voice clips as well. So that's where the button triggers come in. I'm just going to be using the keyring for this one because I can never remember which order these go in and every time I let go they're going to mess around. Uh, so, as I said, the Clone Trooper is the one that I've uh, modified, so I've got voice files for Sev on here, so it would have originally had voice lines from the films and some Clone Wars stuff on here. If uh, they're unedited, if you haven't messed around with the settings, it's normally button D, uh, which is the one that will have a, a small loop of voice clips. So if you just press that one, it will say like a different one each time or like every six or so ones it will loop through. But A, B and C are just one clip. Uh, on the actual button press. But for Sev I've made it so it doesn't have a loop on the fourth one, so each separate one is uh, a voice clip, so I'm going to go through them all now. Yes sir. Negative. Delta 7, ready for combat. Moving into position. So I basically went for just, uh, you know, generic stuff, because as you can tell I sound nothing like Sev. So actually having a nicer uh, uh, gruff voice coming out of this gruff character rather than hey guys what's going on uh, kind of makes a lot more sense so just for like the generic if someone asks for a picture yes, sir. or just if someone wants me to do something I'm like yeah I'm not going to do that Negative. and also if I want because for this one I'm not going to actually have my microphone plugged this in this is ATRT squad reporting in no sign of separatist activity it more has sir. a troop loop on it so this is basically just, it's normally about an hour long, these loops, and again, they will continuously go on a loop, but you've got uh, essentially background chatter, and just sort of noise, it just general sort of effects of what's going on in that character's... Enemy droid sighted. Roger, command. We are on the move. What's going on in that character's vicinity. Uh, so as you have just taken the mic out, it's just gone for that. I, mean, I might have just accidentally pressed the button as well, but actually how to get to that is you normally press the red button in the middle once. Droid. Hold so it's not constantly chattering on all the time, you do have uh, gaps of silence and then you'll just get like a radio transmission or you hear something like a little battle going on. Uh, I did have that actually in my armour for a good while, uh, someone put up the uh, full 
uh, loop for the Stormtrooper one and uh, I had like a little speaker that was connected to an iPod so I downloaded the loop, put it on my iPod and connected it through the speaker so I've got like a little bit of background noise just because I didn't have a, a mic system so it was again a little bit something that added to uh, the costume but now I got this, don't have to worry about that anymore so that is the basics for the Trooper Amp it is a simple bit of kit but it is really good just for helping character building and also it's a pretty decent mic system if you're just looking for one for a Stormtrooper again if you're on budget if you need a, like a really simple mic system there might be some cheaper ones out there not a lot of them are very cheap, so if, they, if you're going to spend the money, this has got a bunch of extras on it which you can use as well. Because as I said, it's not just for one character on here. You don't just have, ah, oh, I'm just going to use this one for Stormtrooper, and then you've got the Stormtrooper files. This comes loaded with a bunch of characters. So as we've already gone over the basics and shown you what it does, we're now going to spend forever going through all the character voice files. So you've heard the Clone Trooper, so let's go through and see what else we've got. Settings on. Volume. Select profile, current profile, clone trooper, death trooper. So you got death trooper, so this one doesn't actually seem to have the static burst at the end of uh, the speech. No matter how high I put the volume or how high I talk into the mic, I don't have the static burst, but you do have your little optional extra sound effects. <laughs> And this is what the troop loop for the Death Trooper sounds like. Immediate, just panic. Oh, there's an at at, I hear that. Because when did we have submachine guns? Now! This is hectic! I thought trip loops were supposed to be like just background noise. This is like. This will give someone PTSD! Jesus, I think I'm under attack. Wow, that was that was intense. I could almost I could almost picture I was there. Ewok. Oh yeah. I love Ewoks. The true it's the true sadness of my life, right? I'm too short to be the one I really want to be, which is Darth Vader. I'm still a little bit too short to be a stormtrooper. I get that line every time. But I'm too tall to be an Ewok, and I want to be an Ewok. And it makes me sad. Yes, I know they defeated the Empire, and I'm strictly Empire, but I can't help it. I really like Ewoks. So this is the Ewok file, so this is going to be um, one which has a little loop at the end as well. The Death Trooper one would have had a loop too, but it's just a, a lot of it is the same noise. So this one is easier to tell, and as you can tell, Ewoks don't have a static burst either. Yep, yep. Yes. Well, that one's having a damn good time, I can tell you that. Oh, oh. yes. Oh, bless you. I didn't actually have a look at what the troop loop for an Ewok sounds like, or if they even have one, so let's have a look at that. So it's just going to be their random sound effects just playing so you don't have to trigger them, because I'm not, I'm not pressing anything on this. It should just... There we go. So now we have the Jawa. Again, I'm too tall for a Jawa as well, and I quite like Jawas, but I do love kind of anything to do with Tatooine, so, you know. What does a Jawa loop sound like? Is it just the noises as well? Yeah, so the Jawa loop is just uh, the sounds just with uh, a gap in the middle as well. Oh! I think I, st I stopped it a bit too soon there. Okay, next. Predator. So this is not in the Star Wars universe, this is the Predator. Settings off. I have not seen the original Predator movie in a long time. So uh, this is kind of all going to be new. <laughs> Sounds like a rancor. <laughs> oh, 
I feel very weird, you know, just standing here waiting for these sounds to play out. You know what? Let's actually go full on in character. Let's uh, let's get the bucket. You come out right this minute. Oh, me, it's so good. Okay, so the predator one, quite creepy. So let's see what the uh, the troop loop sounds like. Gonna tell in Mary Bond of a John. He claimed he has a music buddy and a lot of fun. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Legitimately was not expecting oh, that. Okay, that's probably gonna get me copyright strike, so um we're gonna we're gonna stop that. That's bloody hilarious. Of course, the one I decided to put the helmet on for as well. Okay, so um yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very Star Wars y. That's uh Let's move on to the next character. You know what, I'm just going to put that bike up there because obviously when I take that off, just weird things happen. So yeah, the Biker Scout has got the Static Burst feature on there as well. And for your separate audio files... Hold on. Let me see your identification. What was that? Drop your weapon! You won't be giving us any more trouble. I need assistance. So it's basically uh, the separate voice files are the, uh, the Stormtrooper and Sandtrooper ones as well. But uh, I think I, ha I have listened to the Troop Loop on this one before, and it's really cool because it's actually in Endor. You hear the birds? This is Command Center, Hall Officers in the North Quadrant. Check in. TV 701, checking in. There's an asset. IS 899, checking in. TV 7218, reporting for duty. The, the Ewoks have returned. So you've got Jungle Life, Stormtrooper Chatter, Ewok Chatter. That one is pretty cool. I like that one. Sand Trooper. So I think the Sand Trooper again just will have those same voice files. Oh, these aren't the droids we're looking for. Let me see your identification. Set blasters on full. Who's there? Yeah, pretty much the same ones. And um, what does the troop loop sound like? So not going too far into that, but you've got the uh, the TD call signs, so it's appropriate to sound troopers and just a lot of background noise. So I assume you'll be somewhere like uh, Mos Eisley or Mos Espa. I think the TIE pilot's audio files are the same as well. Hold on. These aren't the droids we're looking for. But what does the troop loop sound like? This is the interesting part. I've not actually listened to all the troop loops before. Charlie Roger Squadron, please report to the flight deck. Charlie Roger Squadron, please report to the flight deck. That's the 501st. Tide Pilot Squadron. Roger. Let's have a listen to this. So we've got very faint background chatter on this. Attack that target. Oh, there we go. Targeting. All fire on those ion cannons. Target confirmed. So you've got very sort of quiet background chatter, a lot louder uh, radio chatter, and some battle moments on that in TIE Fighters, that's pretty cool. Stormtrooper. Your standard TK, everybody loves a TK. It'll have the same voice files. Hold on. Let me see your identification. Well, uh, this is the troop loop I should have been using for a few years, but officially now on an actual amp, so I'll know when it starts. This is command center. All officers on the hangar level, please check in. Yes, this is the same one. DC-9141 checking in. TK-3302, ready for duty. TK-4276 checking in. Yep, it's the same one I've been using. So it's mostly Death Star chatter and a sort of random just radio calls for uh, standard TKs. TFA Trooper. There you go, this is the First Order Storm Settings updated. Settings off. So let's see what the voice files are for First Order. And actually, now let's check. Have you got the Static Burst? Let me turn this up. Static Burst? 
Yep, it does have that as well. And then we'll see what the uh, voice files sound like. Oh, look. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Now, I was surprised as I haven't looked at that, I thought they might actually be um, Let me see your identification. ones from the film, but... This was really getting on my nerves, so I shot him. How was I supposed to know he was a friend of the Admiral? Probably shouldn't have said that out loud, mate, but... Call for backup. So it's, again, mostly um, TK files, so let's see what the troop loop sounds like. Report to my division at once. We got five. Okay, okay. So we got a mix of uh, voice files from New Hope and Force Awakens there. I guess I guess this isn't, hasn't been updated since Force Awakens because well the troopers don't really say a lot in the new film, so that's probably as good as you're gonna get for that one. What's next? No trooper. Same voice files. Uh, what's the troop loop sound like? Is this a drill or something? No, the alarm's going no off. Run. So we kind of got a little bit behind the scenes of the Battle of Hoth going on right now. That's pretty cool. Tuscan Raider. Oh yeah, I love Tuscan. So the Tuscans obviously won't have a static burst. It'll just be a standard, standard mic amp. Nothing at the end. Uh, let's see what the files sound like. how weird Star Wars creatures sound like until you hear them out of context with everything else in the movie. So I'm guessing similar to the other creatures, the troop loop will also be just the uh, the sound files with a little gap in there. Okay, it's just um, a lot of creepy breathing. Let's not go any further than that. I have a feeling it will go downhill from here. Darth Vader. Oh yes, Darth Vader. So that's... The breathing just comes automatic. I don't have to press anything for that. Because it will just continue to go on. Hello? Does this work at all? Oh, I'm have to turn it up. Yep, the amp still works for the, the voice as well doesn't have a voice change or anything, so you have to talk really low, which I can't do. Another reason I couldn't be Vader. I don't have the voice for it. Yes. But we do have voice lines. Don't fail me again. Impressive. Most, Most impressive. impressive. Oh, that's, that sounds like force choke. Okay, so we don't have a loop of Vader, we just have a couple of lines and a false choke sound. Pretty cool, okay. Does he have a loop, a troop loop, or is he just breathing? Nope, that just turns off the breathing. Boba Fett. Ooh, Boba Fett, I haven't looked through these ones yet. Nope, Boba Fett does not have a static burst feature. What does he have in terms of voice lines? You're more used to me, dead. Oh, that's Tamara Morrison. Just keep moving. You're tough, but not tough enough. Ooh. Won't be long now. Amateurs. This job isn't always pretty. I always get my man. Jedi are overrated. It's true. You're not as smart as you think. Easy money. Time to finish what I started. Oh, oh. You're cooler than Kylo Ren, I'll give you that. I've got a message from Jabba. 
Maybe you should have surrendered. Don't bother begging. Nothing personal, just business. You're tough, but not tough enough. He's actually got quite a few voice clips, so let's see what his troop group sounds like. I assume inside the slave one. In which case, God, your ship is noisy. My you saying that could just be the, all the random electronics he has on his person. I think that's what that loop is. Lots of random electronics. Now this is Chewy. We know Chewy already. We've done Chewy. But this is an unmodified Chewy, so you can hear what other sounds are going to be on there. Uh, so... <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. As I said, this is the one we're using for Dad's costume, but have modified uh, which voice clips do play on which triggers, and what does Chewie's troop loop sound like? <coughs> Just a lot of angry Wookiee noises by the sounds of it. <coughs> Clone Trooper. And that was it, we've now looped back to Clone Trooper. So that is everything that is on uh, the Trooper app. It is a really cool bit of kit. So if you're in the market for looking for an amp system, give this one a, uh, a little look-see. So as you can hear, it's got a load of stuff on it. If you want custom files on there, you can put them on there yourself, or you can ask Tramp to do it as well. Uh, got a good library on it, decent sound, decent mic. Yeah. That's pretty solid. I'm pleased with that. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little look at some Stormtrooper accessories. I've also done, or will be doing, the Blast FX uh, E11, depending which order these go up in. So, uh, have a look out for that. That is also a really, really nice little bit of kit. Big thanks, as always, go out to my patrons. So, thank you to Jeff Kenny and everybody else who supports me on there. Stick around if you like what I do here. Subscribe comment, all that wonderful stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, and as always, may the Force be with you.